we were talking about modalities. So you're a, a modal artist with language, but with percussive sounds as a beatboxer. Can you talk a little bit about, oh, without giving away with what you're going to do tonight, of course, but what do you think when... It's funny that you mentioned. Okay, go ahead. You know, I was going to actually start the, the, my presentation with a quote from none other than Shodokan. Oh, wow. <laughs> because great artists should be quoted even while they're living, I think. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. seriously. And we drove up to Toronto not that long ago. Um, just narrowly survived that. It's when th there was a lot of snow, if you remember, and there were pictures in the New York Times of like, people in jackets, like, this is what it looks like in Toronto. My wife showed me a picture. I was like, do you see what you're going into? Uh -huh. So anyway, we were driving up there, and Shodokan mentioned this idea of three modalities of, of the voice. And at the time that he mentioned it to me, it, it, it just sort of was one of those things that just slipped into my ear and just sat there for a while. But it has become, over time, the, the, the impetus for tonight's performance on my part. The three modalities being percussive, melodic, and linguistic. So my hope tonight is to present something from each of those modalities and um, as a human beatboxer. So I'm sort of like a ringer, I guess, which is why you put me first. In terms of vocalists, I do a lot of vocal work myself. Damn, I'm gonna get the fuck out of your way, sir. With that said. No more questions. No more. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask some questions towards the end. But okay. I mean, you just said that. You just set the tone perfectly. So okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna. Wait. You want the me voice. Ask, you want me to ask you another? Give me question? one more question. I was <laughs> <laughs> okay. Something. So, do you have a preferred modality of the voice? That's a good question. That's something I had to ask myself a lot. Okay. Um, I think I found in preparing for this that percussive was like the most natural and it's where I've been focusing the most. Mm -hmm. But then I realized that by ignoring the melodic modality, I think I miss out a lot on, on ways that I can connect with the audience. Mm. Like I think, people, I think people receive melodies sometimes more directly than percussive rhythms. I don't know, we'll see. Right. Yeah, we'll see. I, I They're both I'm... sort of fundamental. Yeah. And then there's, <laughs> and then there's language that has all of those things. Right. You know, sometimes people say to me, oh, Shodoke, okay, how come you haven't blown up or blah, 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 blah. And I'm saying to them, well, a lot of the music that is cultivated here in this part of the world, it's mostly driven by melody. And my musical instrument is mostly driven by rhythm. So, you know, and there's also the suspension of disbelief that occurs with beatboxes. Um, people enjoy that, oh my God factor, right? It's universal. But beyond that, they need to be able to see themselves and what you're doing. Um, on stage and what you're doing within your technique, you know? So to see beyond that suspension of disbelief, it has a part of it. But I mean, it's also a great selling point. So it depends on how much of context is applied um, to that. And it looks like you have some serious levels of context applied to what you're about to do, is that right? I guess, we'll see. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause, Max Ben. Thank you. Thank you.
Feet have got no rhythm Though it's easy to pretend I know you're not a fool Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring to the stage one of the lyrical masters of Baltimore. Please make some noise for Vincent Gray Matter. Campbell. Now I have to do something great. Looking 
like a real wondering exactly how to get the pill. Troubling all the mind, but I'm thinking, feeling like I'm standing in the sand and sinking. Watching me hard, looking like this is something that's more interesting. I'm the interesting. <laughs> Feeling like it's time for me to push and button reset. In a life I'm looking like I'm upset, set, 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 set. Words can't explain. So now I think again. Now I think again. And if I think again. My ideas fall in range like rain It's feeling like it's on my brain The idea that ignore this came Feeling like a person lame If I'm reaching out for things Wondering, looking like my head's directly thundering Blundering concepts Feeling like I'm all I direct Feeling like I'm inside a mess Really hard to breathe with breath Cause heart ain't connected Eventually you'll get the message in the world of messes, trying to hold on to these sketches, ideas that I still guess is more than how I could possess it, just to hold it like these skills if I could own them, as if I honed it, but my skills are more like homeless, I'm homeless, more stressed in this land that's more bed, there's no sleep, no rest, no bed to lay in, my children playing around me, seems like the destruction is around me, it's surrounding Desolate in this disaster I want to actually have my hand out Touching just the master Master of none Shines regularly over me Like the sinning man in the sun I'm a beginner Yeah I'm a beginner From kindergarten to head start be in repetition right on the mark and I'm Say this is the way he does it like he's starting Dearly beloved, dearly departed Created right there on the spot like he's an artist Hitting the golden bulls out the ideas if it's the golden targets And on the cross in the land of Libyan lost And I say this is me inside of the soup, I'm in the something All in the broth and I spit exhausting The rest of them say it's about the way that I'm living It's costing all of your talk and the rest of your looking Want to say this is for the time off of the mind But if it's took him, taking it the world I'm breaking it, the rest are hating it It's better than the demonstration with The sign that I put up The fight against what? This is world is crazy You like nuts, I say this is the line The double dutch to jump the style That does exactly the way that he wants I say listen here now, the style For the chumps, I'm like Red October You out for the hunt, don't need For the blunt, I'm already blunted You say the sickness, just throw up out Of your stomach, the rest of them talk about Where it is it's becoming, I say Where I am is more than where I'm from it's Away. It's getting done, it's more than just me dumb And I say, this is the way that it happens Which in my passion is more than the dude on microphone Talking about he's been rapping I say, this is the way he does it Like jazz pizzazz if he's scatting And you're rhyming in the action We'll get down and it's a fraction I-I until you're captain Check the words in closed caption Bring it back to action Pure satisfaction Pure satisfaction Pure satisfaction. Great, madam. Thank you, sir. Max Beats, thank you, sir. One last poem for everybody tonight. Check this out. Orchestra. So you haven't got a drum. Just beat your belly. So I, got, I haven't got a horn, I'll play my nose. So we haven't any cymbals, we'll just slap our hands together. And though there may be orchestras that sound a little better with their fancy shiny instruments that cost an awful lot, hey, we're making music twice as good by playing what we've got. Thanks everybody.
Wow. wow. Yo. Yes. Max yes. Bent. Vince a great matter. Yo, don't even say this yet. That was amazing. Yes. You know, some, uh, I, when I ask newcomers, and they've never been to a body, they say, oh, it's all voice. Okay, so can I bring my guitar? And I go, no. no. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, can I bring my um? Can I bring my loop station? That's me. Yeah, I'm you know? the loops. I'm like, hey, I'm like, <laughs> I use the loop station all the time. And I'm like, well, no. And I mean, what you just saw there on stage just now is exactly the reason why, in this instance, you do not need those things. Um, so I'm curious as to where your mind went to, knowing that you were just relying on your voice and just your body. I mean, and Vincent, the same for you as well, man. Like, did you have other ideas as to how you were going to represent through how you use your voice, and maybe through other ways that you're not used to using your voice as well? For me, it was it's a big pro. It's, the process is letting go enough for the good things to happen. Like with um, with looping and such, it's like you're controlling it. You're sort of I'll put this perfect drum loop down and just let it roll for a minute. Then I'll drop the trombone line or whatever. That's what I'm doing. But with this, it's like, ooh, that's rough. Like, I, I really was trying to hit those, ooh, ooh. Like, but they were getting all choppy, and I was like, man, screw it. I'm just going <laughs> to. And I, every now and then I'll hit one. But, you know, this is a perfect experience, and, and, and you know, I th think limitations are a good thing. For you? I think that um, whenever we, like, sit down to write something or you know, record, you're able to pick apart the places where it is that you feel like you could have been better. I think when you're freestyling, when you're actually existing in the moment, like that's like living, you know, like I'm trying to cross the street, oh, car come, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't, you know, you know, you don't like stand there and wait for the car to come and hit you, you, you move, you adapt to whatever it is that's going on around you. So like, I got to work with this guy <laughs> um, who's amazing already so you know like like if you say something like yeah yo, you gotta come correct like I, I hope I, I hope I can <laughs> like I'm just kind of like stepping out of the way of the car or you know not necessarily always stepping out of the way of the car sometimes I'm smashing the car um, you gotta you gotta figure out how to you know what I'm saying I guess exist and exist in a moment where you know it's important to you know, feel alive in that moment I feel like uh, also I think this is the most vulnerable I've seen you on stage tonight. I don't know, was it just me, but was there something beautiful in the way that he was covering his face, but he just kept going? Yes. And his face was just there, yes. just covering his vision. It was like, okay, I don't want to get in my own way. I just want to let these things come out. Um, that was a beautiful moment. I hope someone got that on camera or something, because yeah, there was something in that moment. I'm sure he did. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah. Um, do you feel like there was something more vulnerable that was becoming unearthed in that moment when you was rocking with Max? Um, I mean, I was kind of searching for words. I, was, I felt like I was messing up with some things that I was saying um, and was just kind of, I guess, searching for like a place to where it was like real for me, you know? Um, and sometimes you got to close your eyes and kind of focus. Um, I, I guess that goes with anything, really. Um, you know, take a second to, to really reflect on what it is that you're dealing with and what skills you already have, and then just kind of feel free to do that. Anyone from the audience want to ask these brilliant musicians a question or two, maybe? Because I could do this all day, but I mean, anyone? Yeah, Mia, please. What was the significance of the OM in the, in the beginning? Uh, well, I was drawn from the tradition of Nikun, which is a Hasidic Jewish tradition of singing songs without words. And uh, I find that when I just start with a particular note, I can go somewhere, and then a lot of times other things will come out, like overtone singing or um, different like tonal sound processes, you know? Um, so if, if you heard an ohm in there, that's a beautiful thing. Um, so I think, you know, ohm is a real good one just to get your voice warmed up, too. Yeah. Because you, you get that the mm part of it, like massages the throat a bit. So, yeah. Well, actually, that's a beautiful segue because you're next on stage, oh, wow. Mia. So please give another round of applause for Max Beck and Vincent Gray Matter. Wow. 